Hi guys, welcome to Street Feast Vietnam. Today I'm back with Vin from One Trip on a mission to track down the best Vietnamese sweet soup dessert known as Che. This is the place I come every day to buy a small process for my girl. Here at this flower market, you can also get some food. Actually, we can have some very good food. Okay. Here's kind of like a small Cambodian town for Chumman City, and you can wow. have all style Cambodian dishes here. This area used to be a Cambodian refugee camp, and now it's the unofficial Cambodia town of Saigon. Here we are oh, at yeah, Koka Cambodian style market. Yum. So say hi to Koka. She operates this place with her mother for over 60 years. Oh my god. Yes, and their parents take her from Cambodia like they are like kind of like a refugees. Oh refugees, yeah, yeah. Yes, fine. and this place is uh, where they where the family make for make money for their living. Che Koka has been run by a mother-daughter team for over 60 years. This Vietnamese family fled to Cambodia during the Vietnam War and resettled back in this area after the conflict was over. So I want to um, clarify, you just told me we're having dessert. This doesn't look like dessert. <laughs> what is this? This is not a regular dessert. We have over 20 types of chair sweet soup. Okay. And each of it like is made with different ingredients and different style and each of it has a very good structure. You just said that there are 20 different styles. Now yeah. what is the style we're having today? The base ingredients in the all-in-one Cambodian style chair is crushed ice, baby tamarind, egg noodles, salted egg with mung bean paste, jelly, palm fruit, pumpkin flan, coconut milk, and durian sauce. All of which are made fresh by the family every morning. So this is why they call it a dessert soup. There ah, is I love it. a lot going on in here. Can you taste the durian flavor? Durian is a fruit I've heard a lot about. Like it's yes. the smelliest fruit in the world and some people hate it, some people love it. and. Honestly, it's really good in this. Seriously. Oh, Glad that you love it. So what time do they open up? Hmm. They would start at 6 a.m. Yeah. And they would end when they... They would close when all the soup is run out. But usually like 6 or 7 p.m. So they sell out every day? Every day. Of the 20 flavor combos, Vin prefers the banana sweet soup because it tastes just like his mom's. This mama's touch quality is probably the reason why they sell out every single day. So let's get to these egg noodles. They are so strange. It looks like cheese. Yeah, it does not okay. have flour. Okay, I'm gonna try this. This is good, right? It literally tastes like cheese, kind oh. of. My favorite ingredient has to be the egg noodles. I've like legit never tried anything like this before. Oh, she's a street vendor, right on a motorbike and then she would offer everyone to buy his seats now. Vendors on motorbikes drive around town blasting advertisements through loudspeakers that are jimmy rigged on the back of their bikes and all of this to attract more customers. Now what is this? Oh, it is uh, the bam fruit. Okay. Bam fruit is kind of like a tree related to coconut but it's not completely coconut. Okay, so yeah. this is very much like the ingredients that she has is location specific. Yes. Like all related to Cambodia and all related to the South. The South Vietnam, yes, that's yeah. right. Now the one ingredient that separates this place from all the rest is the use of palm sugar instead of processed sugar, which makes for a lighter and healthier option. So go ahead and order all 20 because that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I feel like this is a really special place too just because I would have never found this by myself. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and if you're looking for this kind of Vietnamese experience, check out One Trip for an amazing food adventure. Xin chào!